What's up guys? You having issues jailbreaking your fire stick? Watch this video and I'll walk you through. Yeah, What's going on, everyone? Devin here. Uh, I noticed uh, recently everybody's been having issues with their Fire Stick jailbreak, and so I decided to go ahead and make a video to help you guys through this. Okay, so uh, of course this is the uh, the home screen on your fi your Fire Stick. You want to go ahead and scroll all the way over to your settings, okay? And then uh, once you're in there, you're gonna go to device. I passed it. Once you're in device. You're gonna to have to uh, click on developer options and click ADB deb uh, debugging and apps from unknown, unknown sources. Okay, once you have that on, you wanna go all the way back to your home screen and search for uh, ES Explorer. Okay, you can hold down the little voice uh, button on your, on your uh, remote and simply say ES Explorer and it should find it for you. So, like so. Once you do that, just click on it. It'll be the first app here. All right. So what you want to do is go ahead and download that just by simply clicking on get. And it'll start downloading. So you can just click on got it. It'll start downloading. It'll probably take you about a minute tops. Maybe two, depending on your Wi-Fi connection. All right, so once that's complete, you wanna go ahead and open it up and your ES Explorer is gonna open. Looks a little, a little bit like this. And sorry for the, I don't know if you guys could, uh, I don't know if you're having trouble seeing this or not, but um, you should be able to see for the most part what I'm going through. But at any rate, ES Explorer is gonna open up. This little box is gonna pop open. You're just gonna back out by hitting that back button on your remote. Okay, then you're gonna hit favorites and you're gonna to go to add, okay? We're gonna add the URL for Cody, all right, so URL is gonna be HTTP colon uh, forward slash forward slash, all right, and you're gonna type in Cody, that's K-O-D-I dot TV forward slash downloads, I'll go ahead and Write this up for you guys as well. So uh, if you could, if you need to pause it, go ahead and do so. So again, it, it'll be HTTP colon forward slash forward slash Cody dot TV forward slash downloads. Or download, sorry, no S. And then you're going to hit next. And you can just name it. I've named mine Cody. Okay. Once you do so, you're going to hit add. Okay. Then you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom where you see Cody. Open it up. It's basically going to open this up on the web browser. If you type it in on, on your uh, on your PC, it'll do the same thing. It'll take it to the web browser. Anyway, you're going to scroll over and go all the way down to the bottom to where uh, it shows you older releases. And you're going to hit here. Okay. At this point, you're going to scroll down to Android, hit and click Android. And then again, from here, you're actually going to go to ARM. That's the second option. And you're going to select that. All 
All right, so arm, and then you're going to choose the only option available here. So weird thing about it is you're going you're to actually have to tab down to more and hit your open in browser, okay, and choose ES Downloader. Go ahead and hit always so that you won't have to do this again with your other downloads just in case. But once you do that, it's going to download really quick. And again, depending on your Wi-Fi connection, it's either going to be really quick or it's going to take some time. OK, mine actually took about uh, probably going to take about maybe a minute here, tops, minute 30. So if you have to pause it, go ahead and do so. All right. So once it downloads, you're going to go to open file, not open folder, but open file, and you're going to install again. So go ahead and hit install. Okay, once you get to this screen, you're going to go and tap down to install once again. And this is where it installs your Kodi package. Again, should take just a few minutes. Shouldn't take that long. And for the most part, uh, a lot of you might already have this installed on there and you might be just experiencing issues with the repos. So um, if that is the case, go ahead and skip forward and then we'll get to that part in regards to uh, the repo that's working for us currently. OK, so we got Cody installed. Go ahead and launch it. Once you do, you're going to hit open. Screen should look a little bit like this. OK. Once it opens up, we're going to go ahead and go into uh, your settings. So you see that little uh, nut, nut or bolt up at the top, right next to the power button there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and choose settings. You're going to go over to your system settings. And you're going to uh, tap down to add-ons. Okay. And I'm going to slow pace so that you guys can keep up with me. But at any rate, you're going you're gonna to show notifications and unknown sources. You want to make sure both of those are selected so that you can uh, add this repo for your add-ons. Okay. Once that's done, you're going to back out and go to File Manager. And we're going to go ahead and add our repo. So you're going to uh, tap down to add source. And we're going to enter in our path for the repo. OK. All right. So if you guys are ready. We're going to go ahead and type it in. So again, it's going to be HTTP colon forward slash, forward slash, supreme, so that's S-U-P-R-E-M-E, -E. all right, so again, HTTP, colon, forward slash, forward slash, supreme, dot, server, but we're going to hyphen it, so that's S-R-V-E, dot, I O forward slash repo. Okay, should look something like this. If you need to pause it, go ahead. All right, we're going to tab down and rename this bad boy. I'm going to name it dot Titan. We're going to put the dot in front so that it'll be the first selection once you look for it. Okay, so we're just going to back up here and rename it dot Titan. This is going to be that newer repo I was talking about that uh, I've had issues with it yet. So once you're finished, go ahead and uh, hit OK. All right. So you're going to back out and you're going to go to add-ons. Once you hit add-ons, you're going to hit the little box at the top. All right. So you're going to, uh, at this point, you're going to go to install zip file. You're going to hit dot Titan, just like I suggested. 
and you're going to tap down all the way to the bottom where it says uh, the zip, that zip file. Go ahead and open that. All right. Once you do this, you're going to be ready to install the repo. Okay. So once you see the add-on is installed, go ahead and tab up and install the repo. All right. So you're going to tab all the way down to Supreme Builds. Hit Supreme Builds. Okay. Once you do that, I'm going to slow down for you guys. Again, you're going to tab down Supreme Builds, and then you're going to go to the Program Add-ons. Okay. Once you're there, you're going to hit Supreme Builds with, uh, Wizard, and you're going to hit the only option, which is Install. Okay. Should take a couple seconds. Once that happens, you're just gonna uh, you're gonna hit uh, at this point you're gonna hit dismiss, continue on that new box. Okay, it might pop up a, a, a couple more times. You're gonna hit build a menu, so you can go to your build build menu. If this pops up again, just hit dismiss. All right, and you're gonna hit continue. Then we're gonna tab down up oh, again. You're gonna hit build menu if it comes to that point, and you're gonna tab down to. Titanium 17.3 version 2.0. All right. Once you do that, um, you're going to go down to your standard install, Supreme Build standard install. Okay. We're going to install Titan. All right. This should, this is actually going to be the longest point in regards to the installation. I went ahead and sped this part up on the video. Um, mine took a, maybe about maybe 20 to 30 minutes. Again, depending on your, your bandwidth, your uh, Wi-Fi connection, um, that's how long it take for you. So, I went, again, I went ahead and sped this up for you um, so we can get past this portion of the video. Yeah, all that good stuff. But I found this, uh, the Titan work in opposed to Fusion. Um, I haven't had any issues with it yet, so. At any rate, once that completes, you're going to hit the green force close, right? Once you do so, you're going to get kicked back out into your ES Explorer. Or actually, it might kick you out to home. Oh, no, it did. So ES Explorer, then you go, you're going to go home. So hit that home button on your stick. Okay. You're going to find Cody on your recents or rather on your apps and games. Let's go ahead and scroll all the way to the end of your apps and games and go to see all. And we're going to make it to, uh, we're going to go ahead and throw Cody at the beginning of that list so you don't have to look for it. All right. So you're just going to, you're going to hit the options button and you're going to move to front. Okay. Once you do that, go ahead back to your home and hit Cody. All right. So if you're successful, your screen should look a little something like this. All right, Titan's going to come up. It's going to look like a, a badass coin there. All right. Should take a few minutes to open up. And boom. All right. So, oops, sorry about that. So if I were you guys, um, I would wait for, uh, before you do anything, I would wait for everything to update. Once you load Titan, um, if you don't and you try to play like a, a movie or a, a TV show, or whatever the case may be, it's going to the load time is going to be a little bit longer because it's still updating every all the files and whatnot for the application itself. So as you see right there, it's still up. I'm sorry, updating everything. Um, but once you see it, uh, once you see that it slows down or if you see some some uh, screenshots in the background pop up of different movies and TV shows, you're good to go. And uh, so just to give you a general idea of that here, I'm going to let it finish loading here. So I'm going to go ahead and go to your movies and let's find a good movie just to show you guys that it's working for me. Um, I'm going to go into Exodus. All right. Let's see. It's still updated. Something failed there. But so you're going to click on Exodus. Let's see. We're going to wait for it to load. See, I should have waited a little bit longer, but I, I'm pretty sure it's still going to work for us.
working and voila you see a godfather face in the background everything appears to be in good standing but again i'm just going to show you guys uh it's, it's working for me um yep let's see this is why i say to wait all right so you have all our good stuff let's take a look at uh, some movies in theaters how about that uh yeah all right let's choose in theaters wait for it to load up oh, i might have to choose it again here and again, this is why you want to wait a few minutes before you actually uh, load anything up, anything up here. So you, I'm going to choose in theaters. You have a bunch of options on here too, guys. You're going to be really excited about this. And let's see. Let's look at Transformers. I actually heard this sucked. I haven't watched it yet, but uh, for the, the purpose of the video, I'm just going to show you guys it's working fine for me. So I'm going to go ahead and select this. All right, it's going to load up. Looking for sources. All right. Should take a few more minutes here. Probably about get five, ten minutes, uh, five, ten seconds. I'm sorry. So once it's complete, looking for uh, you know the the providers or getting the the files from different providers should give you a list of different sources to watch the movie from. Okay, so it's going to finish working here. Bring up the sources like I mentioned here, and you can just choose one of these. I typically just choose the first one, so I'm going to hit OK. And after doing so. It'll take a few seconds to load up and your movie should start. So, guys, again, uh, this is the, the best route through it. Go ahead and subscribe if you want more info in regards to anything informative on your Amazon Fire Stick or anything else in general. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.